Welcome back to Get Done to Business, the show all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. I am so excited for this conversation. I am joined by Eileen Gordon, the recent CEO of a Fortune 500 food company who was named to Fortune's most powerful women in business five times in a row, and Fortune International's list of most powerful women in business twice. And Eileen and her husband, Bram Bluestein, a seasoned executive in his own right for several global consulting agencies. Uh, are on a mission to guide career folks, men and women, to total success. So uh, I don't want to waste a minute over here. Eileen and Bram, welcome to the program. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> it's exciting to have you. You guys are doing some amazing, amazing things, and I cannot get enough of your brand new book, Doubling Down the Secret Sauce for Dual Career Families, which was just published at the end of October. And you are helping so many corporate workers succeed in a very, frankly, high stakes C-suite. So Eileen, let's get started with you. Um, why uh, Why did you end up in this world of uh, this cut, cutthroat world of business? Um, what, what, what gave you that entrepreneurial bug? You know, I always, um, and, and again, uh, very excited to be here, but I always wanted to solve problems. And that's what business is really about. It's solving problems and communicating well. And I always had that in my background. I met Bram at the Boston Consulting Group, and that was very focused on problem solving. And we helped open up the Chicago office. So we were very excited to end up there. It's fantastic. And I know that, uh, again, uh, Chicagoans, I know that you're very passionate about your city, uh, very pa passionate about Midwest values. I know you're recording right now from uh, out of state, but your, 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 your heart is in Chicago, which is great. So, Bram, over to you. I know that, um, that Doubling Down is not a business book per se, but more of a game plan. So why did you and Eileen sort of take the time? It sounds like you, you're, you're both busy, as well as, of course, uh, celebrating uh, marriage for over 42 years. Why did you take the time to write this book, again, Doubling Down? So, so Eileen and I um, uh, have had very successful careers. We met at the Boston Consulting Group, as, as you said, and, and over the course of that of that. 40 plus year marriage, we figured out how to navigate both a, the corporate world as well as the requirements of having a family. So, so we, used to, we started off talking about two careers and a family. And we developed a presentation that we uh, walked around a couple of business school campuses and we got tremendous positive response. We learned kind of where there were nuggets that people could take away from our own experience and apply it to their own situation. That caused us to kind of pull everything together into a, an article that we wrote. And uh, on the basis of that article, um, we decided to uh, extend the message and memorialize it because it, just doing it by presentation is only a moment in time. We think this book can be timeless. And it is a prescription for people who um, don't have a cookbook for um, how to be successful with two careers in a film. Oh, that's that's amazing, and you're uh, you're around, and I know that uh, our listeners can't see you right now, but you're around, and and uh, and and right right next to each other uh, here to uh, here to uh, to tell that tale. So I guess it is it is possible. So for our listeners that are tuning in, obviously we're having this conversation in uh, mid to late November of 2021. Uh, you know, COVID certainly has uh, has put yet another sort of wrench in this. We're often, again, those dual career couples are literally working side by side, perhaps in a different room, maybe a little bit of a different workspace. But what's that one nugget, that one homework assignment that you would have for the busy professionals that are out there? Eileen, let's start with you, and I'll ask the same question over to Bram in a moment. Yeah, you know, I've used my um, my networking um organization in Chicago to meet many couples and having been a CEO of a Fortune 500 company that's given me great entrance uh, to that and having built up my career. And so the one nugget that I learned about um, during COVID especially is I met some very great couples that actually split the work. And when I call it work, split the responsibilities of being parents. So I loved that when I heard the story of somebody uh, who was on call from six in the morning till 12 noon. And then her spouse was 12 noon to 6 p.m. And during that time, 
they could work, but they also were on call for the kids, whether it was home learning. So I thought that was a great way of showing the sharing. And in fact, a lot of people say to me, you know, now that people are coming back to work, um, having been vaccinated, that companies um, are very open to hearing from couples what they need to be successful in the future. A lot of couples want companies to make policies. And I found in my career that companies were always open to whatever proposals that I made. So I think that that is the lesson that we really emphasize in the book, to be proactive as a couple and talk to the company about what you need, whether it's during COVID or post-COVID. And Bram, same question over to you. Uh, hopefully you're on the same page on this one too, but I'm just curious for the uh, for perhaps the men that are out there, what what perspective do you have on uh, on 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 how that works? So, so all men who have jo- uh, gotten into a dual career um, situation, uh, by and large, it starts with an intent to 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 obviously create a. A, a marriage uh, with equal equal equality, and uh, but the the problem is is that there's a cha- there's a gap between the male intent and the male reality, and uh, so coming out of COVID is your opportunity to set a new plan. And before you were office based and and you were dealing with those challenges, now you're home based. But what are the three or four things that you're going to do in order to uh, achieve an equal relationship with your wife so that you're supporting them in their career? And the book is full of ideas like become a a, develop an an alter ego, which we call which I, I call Mr. Gordon or set a Saturday night policy, which ensures that you have at least one romantic evening um, a week. Or, um, uh, you know, as as Eileen said, you know, set some rules around who's gonna do what and when and how often. So that, uh, and if you don't wanna do it, it still has to get done. So you better build a infrastructure that allows you to get done. Um, So- Those those are words of wisdom for sure. And those, those are the, you know, you just have to quote, you have to commit yourself. And this is a great opportunity to restart a commitment to have an equal relationship over time. And, you know, as people start to travel, one of the ones that I love is, and we talk in the book about the 48 hour rule, which is that we um, had a policy as we raised our kids and worked on our careers of that if somebody came home Friday night, we didn't really want that person to leave until Monday morning. So the family would be together for the two days. And we found people love that policy. Um, and it's a policy, you can say it, we call rules and policies, but it's important for couples to lay those ground rules out. Right. You know, the 48 hour rule we, we developed when we realized that in order to have a weekend, you really need to have two quality days. And if you, you, you're going to travel Sunday night, you've cut the weekend time in half. And that means that either you or your family are going to suffer. So the 48 hour rule protects that uh, emotional event, which is absolutely essential in order for you to go back to work on Monday morning, fully charged. And that's that. That's fantastic. Um, we are running uh, close to the end of our time of our first conversation because I know that there will be many. I'm chatting with Chicago's power couple, um, Eileen Gordon and Bram Bluestein, um, a couple married for uh, for uh, for for over uh, for over 42 years um, that uh, have that met at the Boston Consulting Group and have recently published this just absolutely incredible, incredible book, Doubling Down the Secret Sauce for Dual Career Families. And we've been talking about some of those nuggets of information of how to have that 48-hour rule and how to uh, how to have that blueprint, essentially, for career success, personal success, and financial success. But I don't want to give away all of the secrets in this conversation because I want everybody to pick up a copy of the book. So Eileen, can I, uh, can I ask you to share, where can people learn more uh, about uh, again, uh, the, the Chicago Power Couple, as well as uh, I know you're publishing a blog and have a lot of uh, great uh, content and information that's out there. Well, what I would recommend is that people go on our website, which is called doublingdownthebook.com, 
and we talk about on the website our background and how to order the book and that's probably the best way to get that information it also lays out how to contact us for other thoughts on the subject fantastic well eileen i cannot thank you enough um, for sharing your expertise with our listeners and Bram, thank you as well. And um, congratulations on the success. I certainly look forward to, uh, to bringing you back on real soon. But we do have to squeeze in a very quick break. Some headlines, commercials. We'll be right back here on the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. Don't touch that dial.